what inner experience gives you is the ability to, and that's all I mean by mysticism, by the way, is inner experience. Mm. Uh, once you have inner experience uh, of union with, with love, with God, with the divine, uh, you, you move beyond the symbol system. You move beyond the ritual system. You still respect it, but once you get to that deeper level, I can go into a Hindu temple in, in India and fully honor and respect the lovely people coming in with their candles and their oil and bowing and chanting. And uh, my God, what else are they doing except worshiping the same God that I love through Christ? Uh, mm -hmm. But that does take, almost all religions start at the external level. What else could you do? You start with the external rituals, but what we haven't told our people is that all words, even religious words, are metaphors. That's the only language available to religion is metaphor. <laughs> it's like, it's like, it's like. Uh, but when we don't tell that early on, people spend their whole life protecting the metaphor. <laughs> really, and worshiping the metaphor, mm -hmm. sort of the way Americans worship the American flag as a substitute for true loyalty to their country. They take the symbol and make a quasi-God out of it. So this is a human tendency to just take symbols and make them substitutes for the reality. So we do it in nation states, and we certainly do it in religion. Mm -hmm. So maybe just saying that, might give some people permission to not get idolatrous mm -hmm. toward the symbols because that's the correct word. And mm -hmm. I learned that word from Judaism. You know, I mean, the only real sin in the Hebrew scriptures is making something God that is not God. <laughs> making something, and that's called idolatry. Mm -hmm. And religion in all of its permutations, uh, is guilt, highly guilty of idolatry. It takes its symbols as an excuse to eliminate and exclude the other symbols, <laughs> uh, forgetting that they're metaphors. Mm -hmm. And I'm not trying to be some, you know, new age liberal that flattens the universe out. Quite the contrary. <laughs> I'm trying to invite people into the depth of things not trying to create a flat land. And that's why I still encourage people to be loyal to their, their primary tradition, to go deep in one place, as I've often put it. And there you discover the Rio Abajo, the deeper stream, uh, and no religion threatens you anymore. In fact, every religion invites you.